Hey folks, John Dando, and this is In Layman's Terms. Today we're going to talk about probably one of the most heretical statements and thoughts that we could ever have in this life. I was working for this guy, and uh, we were having a conversation one day, and I just asked him, did you believe in Jesus? And he said, no, he didn't believe in Jesus, and he said he didn't think that he needed that. I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, I believe I'm a good person. I give to the poor, take care of my employees, I take care of my family. Uh, and he went on this kind of a little rant of all the things that he does. If you're the type of person that I'm talking to today thinks that you're good enough to get to heaven, you know, you don't do bad stuff. I'm not as bad as like a serial killer. I'm not as bad as my neighbor who has abused his children or you got the wrong measuring stick. We're going to read some scripture. So Romans 3 verse 10, as it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks God. All have turned away. Together they have become useless there is no one who does good. There is not even one. Not even one. This is the most heretical belief there is. This is the one thing that trips a lot of people up. We're setting the standard. We, we've got this standard up here, and it's like the Jeffrey Dahmers of the world, or the Ted Bundys, or these people that we have put up as the most sinful of all sinners. Whatever your standard is, humanly speaking, it cannot match the standard to Jesus. The only standard that God is looking at is perfection. There's no such thing as good when it comes to us humans. There's no one that is good. There's no one righteous. There's no one looking for God. In fact, if it wasn't for God doing what he did for us, we're doomed. We're, we're done for. Jesus is the standard. Do you meet that standard? Period. What else is there to say? If you're listening to my voice right now, you need to understand this. When you say that you're good enough, you're saying that you're as good as Jesus, who was the only perfect human to ever walk this earth because he was God in the flesh. Do you understand? There's no such thing. When Jesus was called good man, do you remember what he said? He said, why do you call me good? There is no one good except the Father. Understand this. <laughs> We're not good. We're not looking for him at all. In fact, if it's not for him sending his son to die a death that was meant for us, we're doomed. We have no way to get to heaven. We'll never be good enough. Our best day pales in comparison. In fact, pales in comparison is giving you a chance. You don't have a chance. As I bring this thing to a close, I just want to share with you, if you have ever had the thought, I'm good enough to get to heaven, my prayer is, today, you stop. The measuring stick is Christ, the only perfect human being that ever walked the earth. So when you are grading yourself, how do you compare to Jesus? You're a sinner. In order to get to heaven, you have to have a savior. There has to be something to redeem you. So you confess that you're a sinner and you say, you know what, Jesus? I believe that you came for me and that you died for me. I believe, as the word says, you were buried. I believe, as the word says, you were raised to life. I believe in you. I make you my Lord and Savior. Come in and help me. You are the power. You're the only power that can overcome my wretchedness. If you pray that and you mean that, you are born again. You are saved. And you could start living as a redeemed child of God. Reading his word, praying and thanking him. Glory, hallelujah. All glory goes to him. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.